Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm okay. Yeah. Uh, could you summarize your family in three words? Uh, uh, my family is a gift, it's a blessing, and it's a backup to me. Yeah. Um, describe your childhood in five words. Childhood in five words. Uh, was was fun, of course. Was challenging. Was interesting. Sometimes it was sad, and most importantly, uh, what can I say? Uh, my childhood. Um, the last one was was. I had a lot of lessons. It was so teaching. That's all I can say. Who is the first person you text when you wake up? The first person I text when I wake up. Um, it depends. Uh, but I have a sister who is close to me normally. I text her whenever I wake up. Because she checks on me quite often as well. Um, what made you think joining TNS would was a better option? Uh, because I was working. I was doing a solo career before, so I had a passion of working with a team. So I thought maybe having a team could be better than being one, because you know two heads are better than one. Yeah. So um, who has the best vocals in TNS? In TNS? Yeah. There's some guy called Chosen Blood. He has the fire best. <laughs> How did you come to team up with uh, Walden? With Walden, yeah. Well, I love answering that question because I have a lot of fit memories on that. Uh, Walden, yeah, in the first place I got the first breakthrough with her. Uh, the way we met, we never planned meeting, but uh, I was in a studio and she had come to a studio as well. So the songs she was doing, the producer by then advised her like if she teamed up with me, we could work together. Me, I was just a, a high school kid, I was in senior six. She was already working with a radio station by then that I can't mention now. So she, she was making some money and I had the good music. So the producer linked us together, said she has some money, you have the song, Pressure Love. I'd already written it from A to Z. So she jumped on, she financed greatly on the song. So that's how we came up because I needed her, she needed me. So together we made fire. So um, there's a time you cut your hair short. Yeah. Yeah, were you depressed? <laughs> no. Actually, I'm one person who loves change. You know, if, 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 you, if you moved with me, like for example in my car, if I place my phone here today, the next day I want to see it there. If I, you know, I love seeing change every time. Yeah, it's boring to me seeing one thing every time it doesn't change. So I was just fancying some change, but there was nothing like depression or anything. Um, who do you think has had the largest influence on the person you are today? Uh, first and foremost is God, because me, I'm a strong believer, and I know that God nothing can be. Yeah. Secondly, the friends and family. Yeah, in my life. What makes you fall in love with someone? Wow. <laughs> what makes me fall in love with someone? There are different things, of course, and as humans, we love different things. There's no particular thing you can like, but me, in the first place, um, I'm a, I'm a bit sensitive. Uh, I, I look beyond the, the physical appearance or anything, and I feel that the inner connection, how I feel I'm connected to someone, I think I'm so... Uh, like, like, like how you could see magnets pulling each other, you know? And to me, it carries so much with a sense of humor. I love, I love someone with a deep sense of humor, you know? with positive hearts, yeah, with good character, not arrogant, you know. Yeah, so the sense of humor pulls me so much to someone. That's how I can be attracted to someone. So what do you find attractive on a woman? What do I find attractive on a woman? Like, what do you mean? A character, on a physical look? Physical. Or physical look. With no offense, I love black girls. Yeah, because I'm so proud to be African, yeah. Like this coffee, I'm taking chocolate color. <laughs> yeah, big up. No offense to the bleachy, bleachy girls, but no, bleachy not for me. Yeah. And, um, 
Who was your high school girlfriend? Who was my high school girlfriend? Oh no. <laughs> That's a crazy. I used to buy a I was a But back then, why Yeah, back then, yes, true. Um, and even now, I'm just a normal person. It was just a joke. Well, in high school, uh, challenge I I've been so friendly up to now, and I'm so friendly with girls. Most girls are my friends. So, I can be a hard girlfriend. Though at some point, I'm not going to be a good girl. Who? No, you don't need to know her name. Yeah, but I had a girlfriend when I was in Form 3. Just one letter. One letter. Uh, the name was starting with P. H. Crazy. <laughs> Where did you learn how to have sex? W sorry, when, how, where? Where. Where? Yeah. Wow, that's a tricky one. How would you know even up now? I don't know. I haven't learned. I'm planning to learn anyways. <laughs> Galaxy. Where? Well, growing up in a dot com era, you know, what happens, you know, social media and, you know, movies stories, magazines and everything. Yeah, and I love adventuring of course. Growing up being curious, you need to know this and that. Yeah, of course I had to equip myself with some skills. I see na kuswa la seve and I know kwebe did um Yeah. So how did you meet with Lydia Jazzy? What do you mean meeting up with Lydia Jazzy? My money amati. Eh in the first place, I was and I'm still a big fan of her music. So, I was on TV, of course, I was on TV, but meeting her, uh, yeah, I was on TV. I was on TV, 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 so, I was on TV, sometimes I was on TV, I was on TV, I was on Sky Lounge, yeah, so that's how we were on TV. Why it was a question? Why it was a question? I can I can I can I can I can I can Answer what do I find attractive about her? Yeah, she, she's a nice girl. I think she's beautiful. Yeah, and she, she has the chocolate color like my coffee I'm taking. <laughs> what do you expect when making out for the first time? Wow. <laughs> what do I expect when making out? Of course, fun. I can't describe fun because that's. That's something confidential, but I expect fun, of course, because the major intention of making out is to have fun, of course. Yeah. So, um, which is the craziest place you've made out with your partner? <laughs> craziest place? Wow, that's too confidential. But, do you allow skipping questions here? No. <laughs> well, uh, I think at the beach. Yeah, some place in England, Brighton, where well, it was high summertime, and you know, sometimes the sun goes down too late. Yeah, it's fun, crazy. So, um, what's one thing you're scared to ask a woman, but you would really love to? One thing I would love to ask a woman, but I would really love to. Yeah, this is, this is too manly. Uh, Sometimes, uh, okay, most times we do give out to women before they ask, you understand, like money, like support and everything. But sometimes it's, it's, it's human, sometimes we don't have money, you know, sometimes you have, sometimes you don't have. So at that point where you don't have money, you'd love really to ask your partner, do you have some money on you? Because, you know, maybe I have money, but I would love to use, use it for this and that. And sometimes it sounds mean, giving out after asking, you understand? Yeah, so sometimes it, I find it hard asking her like, hey baby, today are you okay? You know, 
because me, I'm used. If I have money, I'll just, you know, money or anything, any help I could offer. You don't need to pass us because I feel if you're part of me, I need to help out. Yes, yeah, so that's it. What wouldn't you sacrifice for a relationship? What I wouldn't sacrifice for a relationship is my career in the first place because I've been a victim of this before. Yeah, uh, you know, I think the kind of job we do uh, is a threat to relationships sometimes. So I wouldn't sacrifice my career for a relationship, I promise. Yeah. Which Eddie Kenzo songs do you listen to the most and why? And why? Uh, I listen to Nate get don't nimba from Mukwana Gana 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 don't nimba that touchy man it's a quagger. Remember that song? Then he had a Ogenda Kunzi San, Anna Ogenda Kunzi San, Oganya Kundeka, that touchy man your little police. Yeah, uh, the reason I, I listen to those songs, I think they have a lot of message. Yeah, you ask what Ed Kenzo songs I do listen to and why. Yeah, they had content and message. So to me, yeah, big up Ed Kenzo. So how far did you go with education? How far did I go with education? Yeah, I would probably say I completed my education and thanks to God and to my parents as well. I graduated with a bachelor, bachelor's in tourism at Makerere. Yeah, but now it's music. Yeah. Which high school class did you find the most engaging? Um, form 1, because I was so excited <laughs> to go in, in, in secondary level when we were in primary. I was secondary and I was like, wow, I was like, wow, I was like, wow, I was like, so we couldn't wait and at you kid in primary, I was like, wow, 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 so, um, form one was so engaging for me. And then, yeah. um, if you were to have kids, yeah. how would you raise them? Uh, if I was to have kids, definitely I, I would raise them when they are fearless. Because to me, the most problem in the world today is fear. You know, And if someone ever teaches you how to conquer fear, you're going to conquer the world. Yes, yeah, so I'd love to, uh, to to raise my kids when they are fearless. Because man, everything is possible and you can be anything as long as you believe in yourself. If you had one day to live, mm -hmm. what would you do first? I would thank God because, you know, I, I live a grateful life and a thankful life. If I had one day to live, that's all God could have provided. I would, you know, spend my day Thanksgiving. What is your best memory? My best memory was the first time I saw myself on TV. The second memory was when I got my first payment in this career. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I need you to be very honest on this. Yeah. What is the color of your underwear? Wow. <laughs> I have many, so I can't tell the, the, the one I wore today. Maybe it's tricky to remember. Why jamba does it really do? I jamba does it really do. I don't know if I But, tell you one of my favorite colors maybe. I love orange. I love um, sky blue. And coffee brown. Um, what is the one compliment that people always give you? One compliment? Uh, people say I'm kind. Yeah, and I love kind people. I love to be kind people. Are you? I don't know if I am because I can't tell, but he said what people tell me, and that's what normally they tell me. What two things do you hate and love about your country? What two things I hate? And love. And love. The things that I hate and love at the same time? Or yeah. the ones I love separately and the Separate, ones I yeah. separately? What I love about this country, people are, people are friendly, people are loving and they are caring. Yes, yeah, secondly, I love the, the weather, you know, the nature and everything. Uganda is beautiful. Then I, I can't say what I really hate because I can't hate where I come from, but maybe what's, what I see that's not really good enough here, uh, 
by you know the infrastructures and the services when you look at the roads when you look at the services in the hospitals when you look at the level of education and everything services in the police and everywhere sometimes they lack so much to me and i would expect services to be the, the priority you know because for example i can't mention any particular telecom company but uh, you've had people complaining why you can wake up one day and you know your airtime is missing and you didn't use it that's way unfair so i would expect the services to be on point yeah that's what i don't like what do you think is the best way to solve conflict um in the first place uh, i believe in confrontation confrontation how don't confront in fighting but talking as men, you know, because I always tell friends, I always give them an example. Guy, what Jana Kwana Mukazuo, Okolachi, I shake it because that's an example of a, co a conflict. Since so well, I could gain a Kulumba guy because the guy in Aya Mwegombi were going to be able to be But the Ntula no Mukazu the Madinja Gala, for example, the two together and solving an issue. So uh, to me, I think a conflict could be easily solved by simply confronting the issue and talk about it and find a way of getting over it. What gets you upset? What gets me upset, there are major little things. Uh, lying to me and waiting. I'm patient but I, I, I don't like waiting so much. Like if you made an appointment that we're meeting up at this time, simani nyo kulinda. Yes, kulinda. What excuses do you commonly use to get out of plans? Excuses? To get out of plans? It depends. This is it. Uh, business plan, um, shilling plan. If you get up for one, you actually can get. We should get a We want a simple, simple plan. Of course, I will tell you now. Oh yeah, as you said it, you know, money is your friend. We should get. Because can't. It's not about what you're doing. It's not about what you're doing. Then, um, why did you choose music and not sports? Um, uh, I would honestly say. I didn't choose music mm -hmm. because sometimes it's even too much and I feel I could let go. But the reason why I don't let go, I feel music chose me, to be honest. At one point, I left the country and went to England. I thought maybe I wouldn't come back, but still music drove me back. So I've been off and on, but I just found that it's a life call to me. I didn't choose music. From day one, if I tell you about my background, I, was, I studied on music. From high school, I was getting bursaries because I was singing in choirs and in my form 6 I made my first hit that paid off my tuition up to when I graduated. So I find music chose me and I can't deny a life call. Yeah, I mean, I'm so in love with my life call and that's music. Music chose me, I didn't choose music but I choose it now because it chose me as well. Is it true you're living TNN? No, that's, that's not true for now, I can't confirm that now but Changes of Kugamba question because you know it, it's all over. Changes of Gamba question to Ku, Timmy and another chosen blood, Ne Brandy and Natchez and Blood, Kuriko Mutomari and Gedeka Nyambako Gokula Nego by Ita Arafat. Yeah, but I can't tell you that I left him no sleep or I, I, I'm still there. But all I can say, Brandy and Gedeko Mutomana. But I'm so in good terms with TNS because to me, TNS is like my music family. I've learned a lot of things with them. And even if I stayed there or I left it, I couldn't leave it in a bad in a, in a bad way because you know, big up to Tim Musley. It's like music family to me. I love them so much and I respect them so much. So um uh, Gali Arafa Jaffe Gaseko. Yeah. What do you really expect? Uh, I'm already uh, uh, witnessing the expectations. Uh, unlike before, I'm releasing back to back songs. But before, um, my plan was I release a song, I take like three, four months without releasing a song, you understand? But one of the expectations, like you asked, is consistency in my work, because that's what everyone has been telling me, that's what I'm, everyone has been complaining about, from the media personalities, from my fans, from my close people, that, you know, maybe you lack consistency, like I drop a song like Slay Quid, I take three, four months without dropping the next, you understand? But right now, ever since I, I dropped my song with Gravity, I've dropped uh, a 
Tomani I'm releasing an audio next week. Yeah, so active, active uh, performance is all I expect. Um, which was the best April Fool's prank played on you? <laughs> wow. Uh, during my school, then while we were to receive and uh, gifts. Uh, I was part of church choir, so we used to have pen poles, you know those, those white people. Mm. So Katiba to the Tiranga gifts. So at, at one point on that first day, guy arrived later and number. Young woman in a gift year. Because of the year, the Akalachi, the Abiga, so that is sure. Either Ninayo, you know, to a young Gata, no, shake it over, nice sneak, a man, no anything more phone, and the two Karina number. Tiarina walked to a Nemo and Mamma wine, too, Sinanga Mago to my Runakura. So that's crazy. Um, how did you get your first job and how did it change you? How I got my first job how, and how it changed me. Uh, uh, if, if, I, if I'm honest, you, music has employed me from day one. Yeah, and I, I didn't plan this, God planned it. I was in my form six vacation and I did a hit song called Fish I Love and I started to make money here yeah, off that and it benefited me by paying my tuition in the first place up when I finished my education. Besides, no, uh, my profession is tourism. I'm uh, a when I call an internship in a, in a certain tour company, I call it for three months. But even the, the money they were paying me was way different than what music was paying me in this time. So, like I told you, music chose me. I went back to that. Yeah. So, why did you try and didn't work out for you? Sorry? Teacher, why did you try and it didn't work out for you? When I uh, tried out and it failed working. Like, like business, like anything. Well, I, I, I loved sports, but I think it wasn't for me. Yeah, because my big brother was playing soccer, all my big brothers were watching soccer. Then I guess I couldn't get It's not a thing for me. How much do you pay for your rent? How much do I pay for? Per month. That's very confidential, but it depends. Um, location. You mean currently where I stay right now? Wow. You do really want to know that. <laughs> Hmm? Yes. I pay eight hundred thousand. Mm. Yeah, man. And how much money do you move with uh, every day in your wallet? In my wallet, well, just is you know how the day has gone, but I don't really love moving with so much cash on me, even if I got it, because sentence all over. I could see more than a card, but at least better, better secure. Money no kuvanga. I'm more watching. Engage chance to monsa or shake it. And even Sanga Shakira and Solomon Gamma was where you wine. Yeah. When was the last time uh, you had less than five thousand in your pocket? In my pockets, that happens quite often. In my pockets, because I could have less than five k, but when I have other money in the bank or other money on the phone. But you mean basically on me or just in my pockets at the moment? On you at the moment. Not now, but okay, uh, like back then, maybe in better name. Eh, hey, hustle, eh? Yeah. Well, Sunday Zibula, I'm listening to Zinzo Bula, to come to Ina, I won't come in town. I'm not last week, Waguzeo asset, Joina, Ashtege de Ovanga, Wasasu de video, a million coming, Ashtege de, something like that. So, Katarina is about to Zina right now in cash, Nengo, Ina was in a somewhere. But being like uh, totally broke, that was like in school. No, we so blessed and we thankful. Um, what was the last thing you said to someone before you broke up or after you broke up? The last thing I said or I say? You said. The last thing I said. Wow, the last thing. Well, in the Sankal and Yoku, who breaking up now and to Mobubi because Nemuluganda Bagamba over to Yombi. And in, in English, sometimes they say, never say never. So, me, when I'm breaking up with someone, let God lead the way. 
she take a devil your muka chonda. Um, let Kama serve. She take that thing our money. Kama yote ina menu. She take the kuwe chote ni 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 chote deserving. I don't have choice in where on the record. So the the words I normally say is let God judge, you know, because we simply humans, not petty to money. What can't you live without? What I can't live without. Uh, on a daily life, I think I can't do it. I can't live without my phone. It's just like every other thing. I don't know. No, they can't see. What is the dumbest decision you've ever made? Uh, I don't live a regretful life, you know, because any decision made and outcomes uh, to me it feels like katonda wa basa zero or stegeda. Yeah. So I don't think I've. I don't think I've ever made any silly decision before. Chindu se choto nuri ano gamba ah, e choto chine wunisa. Chine wunisa. Gomuntu achikozi. Gomuntu achikozi. Gomuntu ena achikozi. Gomuntu ena achikozi. Chindu chindu ni ena mabuli gomuntu ena achikozi. Nga nga mama so gomuntu mla chali ba denge chie wunisa ya. But to you, it doesn't really surprise you. Well, I want to be fuller. I get TV, but as you're growing up, or she I want to, I want to I want to be fuller. It's part of human nature. Or you mean you cool with you to be in a relationship. Na ine kuchol na kulumu. Na moving on. Na kuna yomu tumla na kusinda. Before na sina getting a use na choy, it was a big shock. But at some point, I grew up and I realized things change. So, I was able to get a relationship with my relationship. I was able to get a I've seen it happen several times. Tell us about the first time you got drunk. <laughs> first time I got drunk. I hardly get drunk, by the way. Yeah, I, I, I can cry, hangover, and everything the next day. I don't have to take it because I have to drive myself and everything. Now maybe the first day I got tipsy. Uh, that, was, that was in London. I have a friend of mine called, called Gracie. We were in London so we went to some house party. I was in London and I was in London and I was in London. Short, 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 short. So, when you know what to do, I have a post address. I have a name and I have a name and I have a name. Uba take a more address to your kind of Kuga Kuali Jokolachi, Jolaga. Because it's a saint when some say you're gonna do that, I don't have much fun. Because Uba is expensive. But why? I take a more address and charm every time because I was tips. I can't say I was drunk because Sagua Chigo. Now, yeah, you can take a more charm when you want to another government, you get more better when you want to do it. You can take a more address, so you can take a more bag and never put a little bag. You can take a more seaway. No, and never government governor is so in the same way. If you don't take a more than a new to Allah. Ebugolovi, and I own full second. Yeah, and that's all money. So was really crazy. So um, have you for any reason blocked someone on social media? Like, in a, how did it feel like? Maybe a fan or a friend or? No, a fan in my oku 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 chankala na na wong. Because they don't have money, fan they don't mulava kulevo jali ko. I bet I come on a personal basis. So maybe we move a bit. I get the better doors. I have my opinion. I don't really take them personal. But I blocked someone yes who I knew on a personal basis simply because na li simu agali zapa. But at that moment, I felt like it's a therapy I needed to myself. When someone is toxic in your life, you know what I mean. Mufunye disagreements na utaga omo mule muko segede. I think omo mtu ina sawa chanda standing ako yu time. Omogamba right now, omani muizo ku disagree na shakira ne mule muko utaga na inga muli palare. Magala kugo inga the same point ni ngabili ma vugadawa ino. So katiche na kola nzima zom na ina mo blocking amsoke mo mule mu. Yeah. How did you feel? Of course, I felt bad because nali muagala. She get a girlfriend who angry. Nay, na niza nyonyo. She get a ba niza na chemo nyonyo na touch. She get a ten na nani chanyo nyonyo na si she get a. So na sima ya ni moto. And amid this exchange in WhatsApp, wali wa wage na kongera ubusung. Ati inga ita texting a nyonyo, kubida nyonyo. Nasoka mo blocking am. But of course, I felt bad.
but it's all I need is. How would you define success? Uh, in the first place, success to me is having a free heart. Yeah, that's all I need, a free heart. I could, I could look at the riches, I could look at the money, I could look at the beautiful girls and everything, but to me, I'm successful when my heart is at peace. Yeah, I need to be free up like a bird in the sky. What do you do for fun? What I do for fun? Well, sometimes my friends say I'm a boring man. Eh? I don't watch soccer. But what I do for fun is maybe going out. I love stepping out every time. About life issues and everything. Yeah. So um, I want you to sing the alphabet without moving your mouth from A to Z. <laughs> without moving my mouth? Mm -hmm. eh? Then how is it? Is it done? Ngoja haminga bhaminzi. That's impossible. You can. Sound you to do that like. Eh hami. No, I can't. No, I can't do it. That's impossible. So, is there anything else you should know about you? Uh, of course, uh, we're humans as well, so and we can't let out everything, you know. There are some things that are personal that we keep to ourselves, and you know, of course, the, the ones that we want our people or our fans to know, I think they know everything. So, yeah, one last question, yeah. I want you to show us your best dance move. <laughs> wow. I can't say I'm a good dancer. But it depends. Are you going to sing for me? What am I going to dance to? <laughs> I'll play a song. you play me a song? No worries. I'll try my, my, my moves. I'm not really a good dancer. but You can actually play your favorite song. I can play my favorite song. What's my favorite song? Let me go to YouTube right now and I play one of my favorite songs. What could it be? What's your favorite song right now? Ugandan. No. <laughs> Don't really deserve an Uganda. No, you play your song. I play my song. Yeah. No, actually, uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you. After I release my song, I don't really listen so much on, on, on my music. But there is a song here for Yemi Alade. It's a new song called How I Feel. I love it. Though. Go out and. Most I want to thank Galaxy FM, I want to thank you Shakira and your, your producer. Yeah, I want to thank the fans out there. Yeah, and yeah, but to be there more because without them, to watch it so well, I could call it. But I want to be there And all I can say right now is this is my time, no disappointments, no anything, just following the heart and the dream. Yeah, God knows, but we do believe and strongly and faithful. We know we have to be there. Thank you so much, keep supporting me. and God bless you.
That's yeah, cool. chosen blood. Benjamin. Instagram chosen one blood. C H O Z E N one B L double O D. That's on Instagram. Chosen blood on Facebook. C H O Z E N B L double O D. Chosen blood everywhere. Twitter chosen blood. Facebook chosen blood. Snapchat chosen blood everywhere. Let's be in touch. Let's get the vibe. Yeah, man. Let's live life. Life, believe it once. Live life.